When patients first come to see me, they wonder what is Ayurveda all about and how is it different from conventional medicine? So what I describe is conventional medicine looks at our body in parts. It looks at the organs, the tissues, the cells, the molecules such as DNA, and it looks at the systems or the groups of organs. In fact, we have a specialist for every system in the body. We have a neurologist for our nervous system, a gastroenterologist for our digestive system, cardiologist for our cardiovascular system, and so forth. So our body gets looked at in different parts as if they are in isolation. Now, that has its value in certain circumstances, but what Ayurveda adds is it looks at what is common to all the systems. It's a dimension of wholeness in the body. And what it does is it breaks down what is common to all the organs, all the tissues and cells, in terms of three basic, we could call them super functions or super systems. And I'm going to have you guess what those might be, but basically they're the three things that are essential for life. First of all, I'll give you the first one. We need a body. We need a physical material substance that holds our unique organism. But if our body is just lying on the ground, lifeless, that's not life. So what else do we need to make the body alive? Uh, I think I heard you say energy. We need energy, right? So it has to be metabolizing. It has to be making energy. So for energy, we need to be able to transform food and break it down and then deliver it to the tissues where it creates energy and then the waste products have to go out of the body. So what are we talking about in addition to energy? Yeah, movement. We also need movement. We need circulation. So once we have movement and we have energy production and we have the physical structure in an orderly way that's all connected and intelligently functioning, then we can support life. So Ayurveda looks at these super functions. How is movement going? How is the circulation going? Including the nervous system and all the coordination of all of these different parts of our physiology, all of these hundred trillion cells that we have. Secondly, that, and that's called vata. It gives it a term. We don't have a direct translation, but in Sanskrit it's called vata. And then we have the energy production. We have all the metabolism and the digestion that gives us the energy to move and to function. And that it calls pitta. And then the third thing, that structure, the material, the muscles, the bones, the fluids, the skin, everything that's material about us, it calls that kapha. And it says for us to have good health, these three super functions have to be operating perfectly or optimally. And then we have optimal health. And the power of this is many fold, but we could break it down into two basic things. First, we can detect imbalance before it becomes actual disease. We can say that a symptom somebody has, for example, Maybe they went to their doctor and said, doctor, I don't sleep well at night and my skin is dry and I have constipation and I actually feel anxious most of the time. And the doctor says, okay, well, that's fine. Do a few studies, ask a few questions. Well, I'm going to give you four different medications, one for each of these problems. Now, in Ayurveda, it says, look, this is not really disease. This is imbalanced function and it identifies its imbalance of the vata, that coordinating and movement principle. So it says, look, we're going to balance your vata and therefore your anxiety and your sleep and your constipation and your dry skin, they're going to all get better at the same time. So diet is given to help to balance vata, which would be, we said there's dryness, so we want to give moisture and we want to give oils in the diet and oils on the body. And we want to have regularity of routine so that the body's natural biorhythms start to be more rhythmic as they're meant to be and go with the cycles of day and night. So in this way, we can correct imbalance before it becomes disease. And secondly, we can optimize our health and really become really healthy 
super healthy by balancing the super functions or the super systems of the body, which Ayurveda calls the three doshas, vata, pitta, kapha, we can help to prevent disease and we can help to make ourselves optimally healthy.